before we begin the video, I'd like to give a big shout out to our most recent Patreon supporters, Vocaloiter97, Ryan, Okui Aohara, Canadian Caesar, Brian Monette, Bowler Forever, Chris Perry, Di Oreo 101, and RF. Thank you all very much for your support, and if you want to support us on Patreon, feel free to click the link below to find out more. We'll see you there. Any boxing fans out there? <laughs> Micah, the man in the middle, uh, with much better things to do with his no, time. Uh, so. Not better things. I just, you know, you just don't. You're just not a. You just don't pay attention to the pugilist. I mean, I was really a, so much time in the day for. I was a professional boxer for about six years at a potato chip factory. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> We put potato chips in boxes and I was, put them up. I was okay. sitting, boxes, okay. Man. Okay. I was sitting there for a second, okay. and I'm just like, I was just like, I wonder if Mike is going to realize the. And then all of a sudden, you were just like, oh, what? No, I, I legit thought that he like worked at a potato chip factory and they had a fight club in the back, and I yeah. was like, you no, too? They did, they did. Yeah, I mean, it was it wasn't potato chips, Keith, but Keith was your corner man. Yeah, he was just like, no, he was see. a professional boxer for a while, but he's retired now. So. Yeah, yeah. We well, he like had to a... retire ever since his vision went bad, but. Ever since then, he's been your trainer. He's like, I can hear from the way his his hands are hitting your face. You need to start. You need to start dodging more. <laughs> we had a we had a mixed media martial arts at one of the places where I worked. I guess you could say. Oh yeah. Yeah, one of the for, one of the media was a kayak. This <laughs> this girl totally got hit in the face with a kayak. It was awesome. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. So un, unconventional Anyways, fighting what style. What is this? Here. Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury 2. Uh, okay. Look. So, Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury are the two best heavyweights in the world. Don't at me, Joshua Lost. Get over it. Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury are two heavyweight fighters who are currently both undefeated, and both of them have a claim for, like, the best heavyweight in the world. So, <clears throat> in order to tell you this story, we gotta go a little back a little bit. To around 2015. 2015, uh, Vladimir Klitschko was it. He was undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. He had every belt. He hadn't lost in almost a decade. And Tyson Fury came up and dethroned him. Outboxed him in every way and beat him to the punch every single time. Tyson Fury wins the world heavyweight championship. Becomes undisputed heavyweight champion. And uh, after becoming world heavyweight champion falls into a very deep cycle of depression. And by that, I mean literally became addicted to cocaine, started drinking like a fish, started... Hello? Hello. Somebody just fall down the stairs? Sounded uh, like it. What, what if that was Chad or Nikki? That was the wooden stairs upstairs. I think so. Well... They're still moving, so they're fine. That's good. Well, either way, uh, Tyson Fury get balloons up to almost 400 pounds... And has all of his titles stripped away from him. And Tyson Fury keeps, keeps telling about, I'm going to get back in the ring. I'm going to get back in the ring. Just you wait. I'm going to get back in the ring. And for two more than two years, uh, nothing. He had all these uh, uh, lawsuits brought up against him for not honoring uh, contracts and fights and everything. And pretty much the world moved on from him. And from that to... Uh, he was the one, the champion? He was the undisputed heavyweight champion. So he was already champion and then just didn't fucking go back. He didn't go back and okay. lost every belt. I thought, I thought maybe he was the one that lost and then just didn't go back. I could see him being no, depressed no, he for didn't losing. Lose. He never you know? lost. That's the thing. He is still the lineal, quote, he lineal. He was scared to lose it. Is what it no, was. he wasn't scared to lose it. His thing was he just achieved everything he had ever hoped for. Mm. He beat He beat the man. He beat the dude that he trained his entire life to beat. And with that, and then after that, he didn't have anything else to go forward to. Exactly, and so. when you're and when you are battling depression like he was, he just went. He started spending time with the wrong people, started getting high all the time, drinking all the time, and just ballooned up and never uh, and uh, you know never recovered from that for about two years. Anyway, 2018 rolls around, and there's rumblings that Tyson Fury is trying to get his boxing license again. And he starts posting pictures of himself again, and turns out now he's lost a bunch of the weight, and he's back down to fighting size, uh, like his fighting size again. You know, like back when he is uh, at his peak. 
Anyway, yeah. uh, at this point, two young heavyweights go on the rise. The biggest one, <clears throat> for the longest time, was a young British boxer by the name of Anthony Joshua. Six foot six, chiseled, you know, you know, good looks, you know, the, the total package. And uh, everyone looked at him and said, this kid's going to be, like, the next, the next, like, huge heavyweight champion because of his looks and because of his fighting style and everything. And, of course, there was an American, a young, brash American by the name of Deontay Wilder, who went, in, his, in the beginning of his career, knocked out everyone he faced. He, every person that has gone in the ring against him, he has knocked them out. And by knockout, I mean cold. I mean, like, on the canvas. Like, there was one dude, Arthur Spilka, he knocked him out so bad, the dude didn't wake up for 20 minutes. That's how bad he messed him up. Oof. Yeah. And Deontay, like, all he needs is one shot. Whereas Tyson Fury is very agile, very slick, has a very good boxing IQ. And Deontay has this unconventional style that you don't know where his punches are coming from. And neither of these men have lost, and they fought each other once before, and the fight went to a draw. And oh, had, shit, a and draw, had, huh? Yeah, and it had probably one of the best endings of a fight I have ever seen in my entire life. Like, the final round... The, yeah, the final <laughs> round was awesome. And you know what? Enough dilly-dallying. Let's get to it. This is Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury 2, a closer look by Motivedia. Here we go. It's going to be a beautiful moment in time for me, but not so pleasant for him. The Gypsy King. It's time I can turn that screwdriver until he's gone. The Bronze Bomber. This is unfinished business. Two essential, undefeated pieces of the heavyweight triangle. We are about to learn the truth! Both different, different in tact, style, and approach. But both on the identical paths mm. towards boxing's ultimate prize. The heavyweight champion of the world! Undisputed. Despite presenting the best of both fighters, with Fury's slick movement and Wilder's destructive power, the first fight left question marks hanging. And Fury beat him. They gave him a draw, but we know he beat him. Though what's done is done. And so now, we await the second chapter to one of the decade's hottest heavyweight rivalries. No less at stake, no less pressure, and no less drama to be expected. I'm not afraid to go El Mono, El Mono. We're the biggest puncher on the planet. Please click thumbs up, subscribe, and hammer that bell button as we bring you the latest in our Closer Look series. One of the largest, smoothest moving of his generation against one of the hardest hitters the division has ever seen. The way Wilder hits guys, man, I believe honestly that it, it ruins guys. Welcome to a Motivedia presentation. Go. <laughs> I think Tyson Fury is talking about really making this a dog fight. Talking about taking a fight to Deontay Wilder. Now these great heavyweights, like he legendary heavyweights. They are about to make themselves great. Yes, sir, they are. Look, about to motivate, make the stakes higher, take a what sour, turn the pay pipe up. With a squad when at a swim across the lake of fire, just to add another brick to the empire. No when Joshua fell in the first meeting with Ruiz. To many, rather than shining a spotlight on a surprising new champion, it represented one of boxing's biggest injustices. King takes kings. I want Joshua. The mega fight that fans believed to be edging closer, one that represented the biggest fight in boxing, now looked as though it may never happen at all. The biggest letdown of his full career was not taking the Wilder fight when he was given the opportunity to. But it took me to come back 10 stone overweight and I said to Wilder, look, give me the opportunity and I'll fight. I said, I'm not Joshua. We the show we the However, reignited by Joshua's phenomenal December performance, the doorway seems to have creaked back open. I had to do it twice. Something that will have sparked a fire in the belly of the Alabama native. If things go silent, that's when the magic happens. It may not come when you want it, but it's always on time. For now, the American resumes business as usual with longtime trainer Jay Diaz. And in truth, apart from small technical tweaks, not much has changed. I love when fighters think that I just have a right hand. That's when they go, they don't know how to prepare for me. But as they say, if it's not broken, don't fix it. In November, Wilder was down on all three scorecards against Ortiz before the seventh round knockout. Ow. 
an echo of the Spilka performance where he missed a total of 175 punches before hospitalizing his opponent with a huge right hand. Down. No likewise, out. it was not the first time we saw a wilder rematch end in quicker and more clinical fashion than the first fight. Oh, oh, yeah. he he the the Factors that squaring up against a fully revitalized Gypsy King on February 22nd guarantee one hell of a fight. Listen, Tyson's a, uh, the strongest fighter mentally that I've ever, ever come across, ever seen in history. And he's proved that on yeah, a number of ben occasions. Davidson, yeah. yeah, whoever wins. I think Fury's going to win. I just think that a man that came so close the first time won't let it go the second time. We all know that Tyson Fury is larger than life. And, you know, he's the, the modern day equivalent to, to Muhammad Ali. Someone's always got to go. And it ain't going to go by decision. It's going to go by KO. Where Wilder has changed little since the pair's collision at the end of 2018. In true contrasting style, Fury has mixed things up for the second meeting. You're never a finished article. You can always improve your game. You can always polish it up again. You know, Wilder says he sticks with his team. Fair play to him. I'm a man who likes to keep freshening things up now and again, and I do that regular. Alongside his grand arrival into the world of WWE, providing a stateside <laughs> profile boost for the 2020 campaign, he also announced a change in both location and trainer. I didn't force Ben to leave. Ben left on his own accord because Ben didn't see it as a good move for his career, which I can appreciate that, so no problem. And leaving Ben Davidson for U.S. soil, the Brit will be trained from the Kronk Gym by Javon Sugar Hill, nephew and predecessor to the late and great Emmanuel Stewart. Helping Fury in his early career, Stewart was one of the first to tip him for heavyweight greatness. Tyson Fury has the ability, and I think in my expectations, will be the next superstar dominant heavyweight. Very talented for a big guy, unbelievable coordination. And having handcrafted 41 world champions, including Hearns, Lewis, and Klitschko, his words spoke uh, volumes. His engaging personality and his physical size. He's going to be a big, big, big factor in boxing. Now with defensive skills, speed, and an abundance of flair already on show, it could be the introduction of punching power that the American trainer brings to the table. Because I've never been as strong, I've never been punching as hard, I've never been as confident as I am today. Um, I'm definitely going to knock him out this time. Just watch out for the right hands, because you're going to sleep in two rounds. Wilder well, will say no mass in this fight. Tyson Fury has promised a far superior version this time around. But Wilder, dismantling his last two opponents, put out a stark oh, oh, reminder. The These guys have to be perfect. They have to be perfect. I don't, for 12 rounds, I only have to be perfect for two seconds. And so the big question remains. For 12 three-minute rounds, can Tyson Fury stay perfect? But I saw Tyson Fury get caught by a Deontay Wilder right hand. You know who gets up from that? No one ever right. except Tyson Fury. In September, Wilder will have taken confidence from Fury's scare against Wallen, surviving a terrible cut to secure a unanimous victory. You know, you may be a great fighter, but if you cut easy, you can't be great. You can never be Yet, great. Considering what each brings to the table, it's hard to call this anything but a 50-50 fight. I think both fighters are going to be way better for their rematch. Make a bold statement to save Tyson Fury all the way. I believe that Deontay wins by knockout. Looking down the tail of the tape, we are reminded that, on paper, Fury holds all the advantages. Two inches in height and reach, along with being three years younger and having a pedigree to match any in the division. Though, Wilder's freakish power and sheer athleticism simply defies boxing logic. I hope he took notes and carry it back, you know, to this camp because I'm gonna knock Fury out like I did the first time. The point of blank period. Both fighters stuck to their game plans in the first, showing what they do well. Fury outboxed and outmaneuvered his opponent for the most part, using his jab to control the ring, slipping and sliding in trademark style. Right hand though, he just whistled past and the nose of that Fury. Tall and long. Whereas Wilder sent oh, his man slick, to the canvas. Yeah in dramatic style. 
biding his time and remaining composed yeah. until, in similar fashion, the big equalizer oh. hit home. I think if Wilder hits him again, you know, he'll, 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 he'll almost certainly knock him out. But Fury could win every round on points. So it's a very, very interesting fight. And so this time around, Wilder won't want to be made to feel frustrated and Fury won't want another taste of that right hand. You can't propel nope. for that. The only thing you can do is, 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 is hope that when it landed, it don't do that much damage. Yeah. Now we get this, and they're the best versions of themselves. Man, you're going to get your money's worth from the walkout until the end of the fight, you know? And um, I must end with a devastating knockout. Whilst Fury is expected to come in as slight favorite, we await to see any stylistic differences. Could we see a stronger, more clinical Tyson Fury put Wilder onto the back foot? He, he can laugh about it now. When he's on his back looking up at me, he'll know what I'm talking about round two. Or will we see Wilder put away his third rematch in the same emphatic style? Wilder will probably respect Fury um, in a rematch and might you know, have the same outcome by you know, knockout victory. Regardless, we can expect to see a firefight between two of the most exciting heavyweights of their generation. And this time, having faced one another already, and with no ring rust, injuries, or obstructions, there will be no room <laughs> for excuses. This is only two places he's going to be on the canvas, or he's going to get knocked out of the canvas. With the division back into its familiar triangle, February 22nd at the MGM, we'll see two become one as we move closer to seeing the first undisputed heavyweight champion in almost 20 years. All of the fighters will feel the heat, but that's why these guys are at the top. 2020 looks set to be the year we finally see the best face the best. Danger, drama, and everything on the line. The Gypsy King versus the Bronze Bomber. Pretty much easy to beat Tyson Fury, and how you do that is nail him to the canvas with six inch nails. And providing you don't do that, I'm going to get up and win. <laughs> I don't know what, what it looks like. Beloved. I think um, no Wilder's probably going to knock him out. Probably. <laughs> I I don't. He's know. a hard hitting dude. No, the, of it, course, man. his range is ridiculous. So ridiculous that he can literally punch from angles like this just as hard as the other guy can punch straight. Well, I mean, that's that's the dangerous part that I'm seeing. Well, I'm like, oh, yeah, to be honest, man, uh, Tyson just looked incredibly out of shape for no, you know no, trying to go thing, twelve though. minute He's, rounds, man. No, that's you a, see, that's the thing though. It's a you ton see, of cardio. Look, Tim Sylvia never looked in great shape, but yet he was the UFC champion. I mean, yeah, I know it's all about long. cardio, but well, no, it, cardio and, and, and plus, it, and to be honest, breaks hurt you. They age you a lot. Well, they haven't. Well, he yeah. hasn't taken a break. Neither of them have. They both fought. I, th I thought. I thought you breaks. said he took. He took like a break for a while. And he then did. He's not three, back he, into did it. he was off for three years, but he came back and hasn't lost since. He's fought oh, six okay. times. So he's been fine. Okay. Oh yeah. I thought no. you meant like he's just now coming back. I no, was like, oh, no. 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 I take three years off and go straight to a championship fight. There's no way. No. Well, no. Like, he's not that stupid. He fought two times okay. before he fought Deontay Wilder. And he's fought two more times since the fight with the first fight with Deontay. Yeah. Now the second fight's on us, and I'm up in the air because I love both of these guys. Yeah. Because both of their stories are awesome. Deontay Wilder, as I told you all at Fats, um, the reason why he got into fighting was to help his daughter. And you know, no, no, there is no greater motivator yeah. than than family. Like family will motivate you to do can motivate you to do great things especially if you care enough about them. Yeah. Tyson, on the other hand, him to come back from where he was to where he is now, it's amazing. It's amazing to see how much of a comeback he has pulled uh, just in uh, in three years where he was, you know, three years ago where he was to where he is now. Yeah. It's amazing. I love it. It's some of the greatest, it's some of the greatest, like, narrative, like, you can't write this shit. It just comes up and it's, it, it's so good. I love it. I can't decide who I, who I'm gonna take in this. Yeah, I'd, I'd really have to watch prime time on each one of them to see uh, a little bit more about them. You know. How about you, Micah? I mean, just from seeing this, uh, which... it's hard to tell just by the because I mean, I I feel like I just got introduced to both of the fighters, so because I I wasn't familiar with who either one of them were. I probably haven't watched a boxing match in my life. <laughs> uh, hold on. Let's see. 
<coughs> Here we go. I'll give you a little bit of a. I'll give you a little bit of a. Yeah, these are these are some of his best knockouts. This is a ten minute video. Well, I'm just gonna show you like things, give you a taste of his. Boom. Yeah, just <laughs> knock out. This one here hurt. Man's well down. He Wait, said something hurt. explosive could happen early. It has. Mark Leland, as his teacher, as his trainer, one of the greatest amateurs of all time. Oh. A world champion. Yeesh. Night, night. All those mistakes. And the Bad habit, he's going to have to correct. He's going to move up this boxing ladder. And that's where he leans forward when he jabs. But right now. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So, needless to say, Deontay has the power advantage. Big time. Wow, though, the clubbing right hand is he. And then, of course, there's a. Uh... Yeah, this one here. Put like like just made me go full stoplight. <clears throat> Brazil survives his first taste of adversity. Show me the firepower of Wilder that punch for, for right here. Watch this. Throw with him and, oh, hmm. out. out, out, done. That kind of stiff and little. <laughs> well, well, he got hit so hard, he was just like... Mm. <laughs> yeah, when they, they lost the foot. You ever yeah. seen the ones where they get knocked out and they're still boxing? <laughs> they're still like... Oh, yeah, yeah. They're lying on the ground on their back, just like, fronts in the air. I love... <laughs> uh, Zombie kick. There's one, a guy literally looks like he's coming back from the dead after getting head kicked. He's like... Of course, my favorite's the double knockout. You ever seen the double knockout? Yes, biking? I have. Oh, where they both swing at the same time. Yeah, and they both stiffen up. I like the ref in the middle. Is just like, whoop! What do I do? Uh, where's uh? Oh yeah, this one here, Ozzy Man, <laughs> freaking Ozzy Man. Oh, <laughs> we watched Ozzy Man. Yeah. I mean, they have the an optical illusion as invented by this drunk wanker in Lithuania. Then he finishes the round with a Van Dam fly kick. That is one of my favourite moves to do in the living room in front of the mirror. You can't beat it. It looks fucking sick, hey. Into round What's three, Joe's getting a few punches in. He does some more disco moves and gets Ye a fucking foot to the <laughs> face. That That's what you get, you stupid bitch. In. <laughs> look at this, look at this. He's like, he's like, he's like. Let me show my dance moves. I gotta look good for Dana moves, White. And, and then, gets a boom! Foot to the fuck. <laughs> That's what you get. Foot to the face. Done. <laughs> oh, that becomes a meme, man. Oh, it did become a meme. Did, it didn't have that a meme. <clears throat> like. that, be, that did become a meme for a while. Oh, gosh. I hate those, like, pumptious people that's just, like, gotta be fucking just... Oh, I hate that. I don't There's even know what you woman. call that shit. That is overly cocky fucking... I'm voting. It's okay to be a, a little cocky whenever you're the fucking champion. Like, when you're on top, you yeah. get to be that. You earn sure. that shit. But, like, like that's not even... That's amateur MMA right there, too. Yeah. So, it's <clears> like, <throat> really? Guarantee you the dude was just like, I'm going to show off, and when I beat this guy, I'm going to get a call from Dana White. Dana White's going <laughs> to yeah, have me Yeah, right. Up. Yeah, he's going to put me in a, a match against John Jones. I'm going to whoop John Jones' ass. Yeah. While showboat is like, yeah. Everybody has those dreams, kid, but you need to work your ass off in order to get up there. I mean, even if you're the only rooster in the yard, like, yeah, you get up there on top of the hen house and crow, it's going to be a little annoying, but at least, you know, you're there. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. yeah. God. But, yeah, that <clears throat> that was, uh, for the most part, that was uh, Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury. So, I'm excited to see the rematch. I I really can't wait. I'm, I've been waiting for this ever since... Their fight ended in 2018. Uh, well, I guess for now, that's going to do it. If y'all are excited, let us know in the comments below. And uh, once again, uh, I'm, we're signing off. I'm Nate. Micah. And I'm Jacob. And we'll see you then, everybody. Peace out.